as it unfolds. Focal TV, bringing you face to face with newsmakers in town. Focal TV, the best on our platform in broadcasting. Focal TV, located at Tobo Village, Somalia Drive, Liberia. Be the part and experience, experience the, the best, best in online, online broadcasting. broadcasting. Keep Focal. Focal. Hello dear, my name is Kay Lyndon Toba. I'm in search of a platform where I can get credible information of our daily happenings in Liberia and the world. Okay, welcome right. folks. Hello Those dear Lyndon Toba. my is name is Gekina Nkoreshpa. Haven't you heard about Focal Online TV? You say Focal Online TV? <laughs> Focal Online TV is located within a Tobo village community along the Japanese highway. Tell me more about the platform. This platform. Call Focal Online TV today edition of Inside the Print Media does not encourage any form of dialogue between the viewers and the presenters. Oh, you mean nobody calling there? No, you can't call on a show. Let me talk in our library when we're no calling there. So, all you can do is you will. So, it is indeed a rare privilege to be seated in the driving seat to bring you major happenings in Liberia and around the globe. So joining me to talk now, joining me to help me on this program is my colleague, Mohamed Bani Kane, but he will definitely introduce us directly to you. Yeah, thank you so much, dear Linda Toka. My name is Mohamed Bani Kane. I'm one of the hosts on one of the, on one of the programs on, on this platform, which is Inside the Cinema Theatre. It's a pleasure being on inside the print media on today. All right. Wami, how do you feel sitting in the position as a co-presenter on the regular morning program on Focal Online TV? Oh yeah, I see this as as an opportunity given me to come and share the little thing I have in me, the little thing that I always contribute to this space on the regular Thursday show. So it's a pleasure, it is now my right to come here and sit as a co-host to you on this platform. All right, thank you. Thank you, uh, Mohamed Vani Kane. You just listened to my co-presenter, Mohamed Vani Kane. It is indeed a privilege, like I said earlier on in, in my introductory statement, it is indeed a privilege to be seated in the capacity as a presenter. Normally I sit in the capacity as a co-presenter on this platform so let us take a quick revision of all of the newspaper we have here we have the daily observer newspaper we have the new dawn newspaper we have the front page africa newspaper we have the hot pepper newspaper and for our international souls we have the bbc which is the british broadcasting corporation so we will take a short break. When we come back, we bring you the headlines of the local newspaper and that of the details subsequently. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Focal TV. TV, bringing you innovation to broadcasting, news, views, comments, and analysis of issues happening in Liberia and the rest of the world. Focal, Focal TV. TV, with check and balance, we bring it as it unfolds. Focal TV, bringing you face to face with newsmakers in town. Focal, Focal TV. TV, the best online platform in broadcasting. Focal TV. TV located at Tobo Village, Somalia Drive, Liberia. Be the part and experience the best in online broadcasting. Keep Focal. Focal. Okay, welcome back, folks. After a very short technical break so let's move quickly to the headlines in the daily observer newspaper unity party dispel rumors of waka's emergency medical trip unity party dispels rumors of waka 
emergency medical treatment. The details. The opposition unity party has fervently dismissed swollen rumors that former, former Vice President Joseph Wakat hysterically left the country yesterday for a medical emergency. The party clarifies that the impromptu trip is within the sub region. The party did not state the purpose of the three day trip in the short statement released yesterday. The standard bearer of the unity party, Joseph Numa Wakat, has made an impromptu trip in Airport sub region for three days. Muhammad Ali, a former Secretary General of the Unity Party and now his campaign spokesperson, said in a statement on behalf of the party. In view of the above, Montserrat District War involving the standard barrel is hereby suspended for the same period of days. Ali added, the Montserrat campaign team, in collaboration with the UP Montserrat leadership, will reshape the tour for the remaining districts. Meanwhile, Unity Party, in a bid to prove its claim right, released pictures and videos of Waka purportedly in Accra, Ghana, sitting and smiling comfortably. The party did not release details about the individuals Waka supposedly met during the trip. Why the secrecy regarding the meeting attendees has raised our bride. Party's representative assert that privacy is necessary to prevent any political interference. The time of after the first engagement year in Accra, the United Party said in a post claiming to be written by Bwaka, I am confident we are winning these elections on the first ballot, which is number two. This is how we move over to another headlines. Liberia exporting electricity to Ivory Coast during elections. When President when Liberia's finance minister Samuel Tuer brought news boastfully at a coalition's democratic change political campaign rally that Liberia is exporting surplus electricity to neighboring agriculture while the vast majority of its population suffer acute electricity back out, many took the news as a fairy tale. The media community followed up the story with, in, with the management of the state-owned own power company. They, the Liberia Electricity Corporation tells the information was found to be true and its chief executive officer captain confirmed as a result of the rise in the water level of LSD my coffee hydro plant. It generated enough electricity and the government taught it prudent to engage in international energy trade with Africans by exporting the surplus power through the CLSG transmissions corridor. CEO Captain emphasized that the power transactions in July of 2023 raised over half a million US dollars, which could help offset the Liberia's energy debt to Africans for the past period. In addition, in, in an election season where responding robustly to domestic electricity demand could be the political weapons of the of the ruling establishment. The city government choose to choose to export its electricity surplus where it is seemingly not needed most of the time. Africa's electricity access rate are 96 percent urban and 38 percent rural, while Liberia national access rate is 29.85 percent. World Bank 2021 report. How how then, with such a low access rate? Could a government seeking re-election deprive its citizens of the needed electricity when they were promised to bed in the in the inconveniences of darkness and chronic power rationing until the rainy season to act to access the light supply as the hydropower plant plant capacity improved? Given the different electricity demand demand raised in both countries, Liberia energy debt. To Africa is now something new on the boat. Why the urgency of setting off now on the impressions of having surplus power which the, the people cannot cannot first access. With this being said, this is how we move over to my colleague Mohammed Vani Khanet, who is pretty seated to bring us stories from the front page Africa newspaper. Mohammed, you are most welcome. Thank you so much.
from the front page Africa. One of the stories trending on the front page Africa is Sapo Trap Sue's Central Bank for omitting their travel marks from the brand out 1000 bank notes. And another story on the front page Africa is Community Justice Gloria Musu Scout and others plead not guilty to the murder of Chala Musu. So the two stories we, we have here for Front Page Africa, where we have the first story, Sapo Trap Sue's Central Bank for omitting their travel max. Uh, the Sapo Trap comprising 1.3% of Liberia's 5.2 million population, according to the recent National Population and Housing Census, has filed a lawsuit against the Central Bank of Liberia in the civil law court in the civil law court seeking a declaration judgment. This legal action comes this legal action comes as a response to the alleged failure of the central bank to include the cultural marks representing the sample trap on the Labrinda 1000 banknote. In the application, the Sabo the Sabo trap highlights that the central bank that the central bank was aware of the traps existing as one of the 16 as one of the 17 traps in Liberia before printing the new 1000 bank note. They note that the Ministry of Education has updated its history and civil curriculum to include the Sabo trap among the recognized traps. Historically, the petition referred to maps dating back of 1937, 1949, and 1862 which identified the SAPO as a trap in Liberia tradition. Additionally, additionally, Professor Willie Shock's book, The New Geography of Liberia, published in 1973 and approved teaching in Liberia schools and other groups that crossed the, Sass the Sassandra River in Africa to settle in present day Liberia. Another story here is Former Chief Justice Gloria Mususcat and others plead not guilty to the murder of Chala Musu. Counselor Scout, along with her family members, entered their pleas, entered their pleas on Monday, August 28, 2023, at Criminal Court A in the Temple of Justice when they appear to answer to the indictment ready by the court clerk. State prosecutors, however, request that. Jury trial, which was granted by George Roosevelt Zell Willie of Criminal Court A. The court immediately began the process of jury selection, and once selected, these jurors will serve as judges of the facts, declining whether, a, whether to acquit the defendants or find them guilty. It should be noted that the special grand jury for Maserato County, Republic of Liberia, found on the oath that the defendant committed the crimes of murder, criminal conspiracy, and false reports to Liberia enforcement officers. The defendant's action violated Article 26, Chapter 14, Section 14.1, Chapter 10, Section 14.4, and Chapter, and chapter 12, Section 12.33 of the new criminal law of Liberia, the indictment stated. According to the indictment on February 20, 20, 22, 2023, at about 10 p.m., the defendant, Abdul Scott, Joshua Newton, Alice Johnson, and Rebecca Yudo Wisner with criminal intent, armed themselves with a sharp instrument believed to be a knife and pepper spray. They willfully, intentionally, purposely, and maliciously inflicted several bodily injuries on Shalom Musu, including her chest, right hand, left hand, and left armpit, leading to her death and nearby committing the crime of murder. Count two of the indictments state that on the night of February 27, 23, around the mentioned time after the family had finished eating and were all Inside the house, security guards were sent to the home of all defendant scout aircraft from out from inside the house. As the sounds grew louder, security guards authority Musu 
and Zion Ta, a pro window of both defender scouts. In the process, it's the defender scouts who are going to see them being strained or help saying there are people in the house. Also seen in the bathroom with cool defendants, new Salabusu, now the sea. We move to the hot pepper newspaper. On the hot pepper newspaper, ex President Ellen Johnson Salif launches ex President Ellen Johnson Salif. Okay, thank you, Mohammed, for such a beautiful coordination on this platform. For those of you who are and this is the August 30th news presentations of the program inside the print media. And this is how we choose to we choose to bring you this this program in the absence of your regular presenter, uh Grafina Sipa, who has gone on a personal era. So we want to say thank you, Mohammed, for such an eloquent presentation. So we will move strictly over to the new done newspaper and subsequently we will come back to you so that you can bring her up to speed with stories from the hot pepper newspaper so let's go quickly to the headlines in the news done new done newspaper us td.2 million outstanding for elections us td.2 million outstanding for elections National Elections Commission Chairperson Madam Debetta Brown Lassanen has informed the Liberian Senate that there is an outstanding of 3.2 million for the conduct of this year's elections. The next balls appear before the Senate Tuesday, August 29, August 2023, and lamented the financial gap with less than two months to the presidential and legislative election. She said the commission has so far received. 49 million seven hundred and ten thousand two hundred and ten dollars out of 53 million needed to conduct the 10th october 2023 elections madam brown lasana informed madam brown lasana informed the senate that recruitment of of porter was has been established for the recruitment of temporary staff and data will be retrieved from the portal to determine the capacity of applicant to conduct the 2023 elections. Madam Lassanen further noted that the final registration pool will be published and released to the political parties in September. The next chairperson indicated that why it is true that biometric was used for voter registration process, voting is going to be conducted on a manual basis. Brown Lassana also informed the Senate that recruitment of Porter has been established for the recruitment of temporary staff and, and data will be retrieved from the Porter to determine the capacity of applicants to conduct to conduct the 2023 elections. Madam, Madam Lassana noted that the final registrations role will be published and released to political parties in September. The national the next chairperson indicated that while it is true that the biometric was used for the voter registration process, voting is going to be conducted. And in response, the chairpersons of the commission stated that they are working with legal consulting to bring the legal matters of the commission, including the hearing. Senate Pro Tem Pro Abatichi mandated the next chairperson to appoint an acting head of the legal department within two weeks with this being said it moves us to another headline coming sounds wanting to cush sounds warning caution ameu ame uses university collaborating political leaders tend a barrier mr alexander coming has cautioned overall 385 graduates of the african methodist Episcopal zion university against returning to the past pretending that someone Somehow the path to move Liberians into a bright future. Come instead, it is time to move forward, change the country direction, and face the broken economy so that no future generation revolution is ever celebrated in hopelessness and joblessness. The CPP standard bearer made the sessions when he served as a commencement speaker of the 32nd commencement convocations of the AME 
Zion University on Tuesday, August 29 in Vensington, Birmingham County. Over 385 students were conferred a bachelor degree in various academic disciplines, including agriculture, business, bis business, criminal justice, political science, religious education. He stressed the significance of education as the life of any nation requiring adequate government funding to improve the quality of education and making it accessible to every village and district, not noting that no nation's future is safe when governments are failing schools and schools are failing students, he noted. According to him, although the change process might get bumpy and sometimes uneasy, history has repeatedly shown that there is that there is young and young at heart the determined and the passionate who have always received the history and direction of the nation. With this being said, we move back to my colleague, Mohammed Van Incarnate, to bring up up to speed with stories from the hot news paper. Mohammed, you are there. All right, so thank you so much, Lino Topa. I'm from the hot pepper newspaper, one of the stories here on the hot pepper newspaper. Ex-President Ellen Johnson Salih launches when we see situation wrong. Um, former President Ellen Johnson Salih right there. Former President Ellen Johnson Salih on Tuesday, August 29, 2023, launched the when we see situation campaign with the aim of promoting electoral environment and community security in Liberia. The when we see situation room flagship program is being implemented by the Andy Brooks International Center for Women Empowerment, International Peace and Security. The initiative seeks to combat hate speech, political violence, and enhance peace for existence during and after 2020 presidential and legislative elections. It is supported and funded by the European Union, United Nations Development Program, United Nations Peace Building Funds, and among others. The program which was held at the Moroga City Hall ballroom was launched and graced by former President Ellen Johnson State, as our friend President John Allen, former Chief Justice, and most of the diplomatic community, including ECOWAS, UN, and the European and the European Union political parties, grassroots women, youth, and students, as well as military. CC begins to do campaign in Mount Sierra County. So the CC begins to do campaign in Mount Sierra County. So we are not news for those who are from the South CC. The National Youth League of the Ruling Coalition for Democratic Change CDC has begun a robust door to door campaign in Mount Sierra County ahead of its September 7, 2023 official campaign launch. Speaking during the initiative on August 28, 2023, the
Hello dear, my name is Kay Lyndon Toba. I'm in search of a platform where I can get credible information of our daily happenings in Liberia and the world life. Hello Kay Lyndon Toba. My name is Greg Finan Koreshpa. Haven't you heard about Focal Online TV? You say Focal Online TV? <laughs> Focal Online TV is located within a Tobo village community along the Japanese highway. Tell me more about the platform. This platform called Focal Online TV Daily Edition of Inside of Print Media does not encourage any form of dialogue between the viewers and the presenters. Oh, you mean nobody calling there? No, you can't call on a show. Let me talk in our library when we're no calling there. So all you can do is you will listen to the news and they can also encourage you to buy the newspaper to listen to the news in details. But do you do viewer recognition at times? Oh yes, we do viewer recognition. When you are watching, we notify you and sometimes we even appreciate you on our show telling you thank you for always following us. We also encourage you to share the live stream because the more you share the live stream, we transform and we transition ourselves as a broadcast team as well. Wow. So when can I ready really get this program you are talking about? This program is here every Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. to 10.45. The program runs for 45 minutes. Wow. And guess what? Wow. We bring you hot stories of our trending situation within our country like you will. Imagine hearing stories from Hot Pepper newspaper, mm -hmm. from the Daily Observer newspaper, mm -hmm. from Front Page Africa. Mm -hmm. Are you a lover of Front Page Africa? Oh, yes, I'm a lover of Front, Front Page Africa. Africa and the women voices and a lot more not forgetting international news bbc -O, wow. cnn -O, mm -hmm. abc news so we bring you headlines from those standpoints wow that is very 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 amazing so we say join us every day on the daily edition of inside the print media at 10 a.m with the headlines of top stories in our country and the world at large on Foga Online TV. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. For break, this is how we to welcome. Who are watching today, please share our live stream so that the people can be acquainted with what or with the developments we are engaged with. So, this is the Focal Online TV, and today happens to be the August 30th editions of the program inside the print media. So, many thanks to my colleague Mohammed Bani Kanan for such an eloquent and Susan uh, reading. So we could move strictly to our international news and our news for today is from the BBC. BBC is our source. Thief hit by Mr. Barrett as drone struck Russian military planes. Six, Rus six Russian region hit overnight back to the drone attack overnight across Russia. We have been getting some insight from our colleague Steve Rosting Berg in Moscow, who tells BBC Radio 4 today program, six regions have been attacked. Over the last few hours, we have seen a particularly large scale attacks, he adds. Although it is unclear how much has been done, people have been posting videos on social media which are pretty dramatic, lighting up the, the night sky. According to the reports, drone attacks have continued in this month. It follows a pattern in recent weeks. We have seen a rise of drone attacks in Russia, often deep inside Russia. Russia has reported a night of drone attack on its territory, ranging from the south to the northwest. It struck on Postkyov Airport, hundreds of miles from the war zone in Ukraine, set two military cargo planes on fire. Russia military says it shut down Ukrainian drone over the Breaks now coolly guard over her ranking region. In recent weeks, Ukraine has increased the use of attack drones to, to strike targets inside Russia. In the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv, at least two people were killed during a missile attack blamed on Russia. 
Russia also reported hitting Ukrainian assault boats in the Black Sea, killing dozens of soldiers. With this being said, this is how it brings us to a closure of all of the news involving the local presentation and that of the international presentation. So, Mohamed Vanikane, you were just listening to all of the news. Which one of the news really, uh, which one of the news really caught your heart that's meant to be discussed publicly? Uh, for me, all of the, the stories on the various media outlets, they are all stories of interest. They, um, they are all stories of interest. So yeah. we can decide which one we take, reflect, whether we choose to respond to, whether we choose to make our own analysis on the issue you know, concerning the, the, the United Party despairing the rumors of former Vice President Joseph Nima Blocker in emergency trip. But what, so what, what, what is your, what is your, what is your, with with the with the with the circulations of rumors about former vice president's medical trip and uh, that has not been that doesn't want to be disclosed by force within the unity party do you believe that there is something fishy uh that the unity party folks are don't want us to know or the librarian public to know yeah um it's possible it could be maybe the the folks in the unity party they have learned from a mistake what I'm not trying to say is mm -hmm. maybe from 2017 election there were there were issues within the United Party issues of information leaking from the center of the United Party going outside the people. That would of course at that time the CDC was in the opposition, so they were using these informations to get at the United Party. So it seems to be led, and then we also saw the C I know the CLG medical medical treatment when the former vice president went to america on a medical trip yeah none of them knew how the information leaked out to the public so it forced them now to come to the public to tell the public that the former vice president is in america attending to medical checkup attending to medical treatment so it seems to be like the united party at the, about this crucial time they do not want people to know the whereabouts of the former vice president there are there few people who have the information to their disposal where is the boss where is the former boss president currently mm -hmm. I, I i i understand the point huh. so maybe they do not want people to know about that but then it is not also okay for the public because you are going to leave speculation in the public you saw when the former vice president left before the United party came out of the press conference mm -hmm. i know with a press statement and then it took them more than 72 hours to come out with a press conference mm -hmm. because yesterday they had a press conference at their rescue headquarters yeah yeah and i think it is the fiamma community in fiamma mm -hmm. so i think that the pr that was done by the by the unit of party folks i think it was not really okay they did not really manage the situation swiftly or immediately did they were not able to manage the situation at that moment. Yeah, but there is my disappointment. We all have been, and you know, we all have been observing the move of the former vice president, and who now is the standard bearer of the Unity Party. And the Unity Party folks, and that of the uh, secretary, the secretary arm, or the, the people responsible to actually address issues regarding the former vice president, they have been very proactive in terms of feeding the public with all of the movement of the former vice president. But I think the recent visitations or the recent move, as it has been speculated that the former vice president is in one of the Air Force region, I think it was a failure on the part of the, the communication. And what I think they should have done immediately after the former vice president left, or even before the former vice president Definitely left, so. they That's should have come up with a statement yeah, yeah. to actually address the issue. But well, since indeed they haven't addressed that, I think you and I were seated here when when uh, this guy Julius Jeff from our sister radio station yeah. tried to quiz them about it before they, they started. For I know Mo Ali is giving something different, and so uh, uh, Amos Twer is also saying something contrary from that 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 of which of course uh, this man has said. You understand? So this is this is a, this is extremely disappointing, and we we but it could be a strategy. That the people are trying to shield the former vice president of medical status and uh, in a wake of, of securing him a victorious status in these elections. So, but then mm -hmm. it is not also good for our country mm -hmm. because former Joe Broca's statement, despite his health status, mm -hmm. it is not something that should be all in the public. But I want to believe for our countries, 
they have status of their president or a person who wants to be a leader of their country is in the public. Yeah. So maybe Ambassador Joe Baca choose not to put his health status in the public, or maybe the folks that are running, mm -hmm. they decide to say, oh, we cannot put our SD health status in the public, but it's up to them. But then it also creates room for speculations where those who are from the other side, they will take that. And so for the past days, this this situation has been all over the all over the, the social media, even on other media platforms, other radio stations. There are a lot of things where people have been saying that oh the former vice president is this, oh the former vice president went to do this and he went to do that. But then the United Party folks who they maybe wants to sue where the former vice president is currently. They are also not doing well for the former vice president. They are also not doing well for the United Party because there's a crucial time now. And, 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 and I mean, they are not also doing well for the Liberian people because this is, imagine this is somebody yeah. who wants to become president. Yeah. Why yeah. if today the Liberian people actually actually see reason and they actually elect? So it means that if the former vice president is not sick, uh, is is sick. Then definitely, maybe after he shall have been pronounced the victor of the elections, sure. then we will have a very serious calamity in this country. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. And then another thing, on the, on the, 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 the sad part about this thing here is people look at President Josh Manu we are saying he, he 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 don't speak good English. Yeah, that, <laughs> but but even just me, walking people take that to be a propaganda. They run around with it. They look at Mr. Comish. They come with him with a situation calling him a gay person, you know, putting yeah. in that kind of a category. Yeah, a it, it, it yeah. Have to, they, they have to attach a stereotype, uh, uh, you know. Exactly. So, yeah. so they are stereotyping these people. So if they do this to the United Party now, I think the folks in the United Party now, they should just muster the courage now to come up with a better defense at an appropriate time. But for that PR, for that proper relation that was done mm -hmm. on that particular day, it is indeed a push. It was very, very, very cool, cool on the part of the guys within the United Party who are managing the communication arm of the United Party or even the office of the former vice president, Johnny Mabwaka. They should have been very much swift to have come up with that release to the public. But, but currently, where this is now, as it stands now, with the, with the, with the fact that they have not been very proactive in terms of, uh, in terms of updating the president with the current of the current move of the former vice president it appears that the speculations that have been you know that have been paid or widespread by the naysayers from the other camp seems to be even more stronger than the clarification they have made and, you know yeah and then mind you know mm -hmm. in the release they said the former vice president will spend three days i hope they are observing it because if the three day elapsed mm -hmm. then the former vice president is like yeah then it gave more room. It speaks to the fact that, yes, what the guys from the CDC are then saying, they were classified to be true. That, yes, all oh, the former vice president is now well. He went to seek medical attention. So you say three days. And yeah. then I think today should be the last day. Or either tomorrow should be the last yeah, day. Yeah, tomorrow should be the last day. Tomorrow should be the last day. Uh -huh. So all of us are going to be on the Robert International Airport where we should Yeah, be particularly on a Friday. On a Friday yeah. A lot of people want to see that kind of faith and you know that kind of favor from reunion partisans yes. flipping their way to yes. the RIA yes. to have a very you know a very rousing you know to welcome. give yeah rousing yeah. welcome yeah so mm -hmm. everybody is going to be on the Robert International Airport to get information from there mm -hmm. whether the former vice president is going to be arriving in the country on Friday or maybe on Thursday for any attempt for him to come maybe on Saturday or Friday to enter the country then Another, and you open another box for another conversation again yeah. that with the force, it will force the guys in the union party will come up with another defense again to tell the public. So, one thing I, 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 I want to say here is if the former vice president will stay more than the three days they mentioned in the release, it is about time now that the uh, area of the public, as far as the region, the former vice president will be a single state in the Equa sub region. But failure on a part, they do not do that. They create another space for people to speculate. And then speculation is not really good. Uh, yeah, speculation is not yeah. really good. I know. People start to speculate in the public is not really okay for us. Mm -hmm. So you you've been you've been monitoring the radio, the many of our local uh, our local radio stations. Uh, there is this situation that is ongoing about electoral violence in Grand Cape County. What is the stick about that particular 
that particular situation in Grand Cape County? Uh, yeah, as as a leader person and mm -hmm. also a talk to host to provide my own independent perspective on that. Um, our people will have to grow up from politicians using them for a little of nothing. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, whether those guys lost or win, they they do not care about them, their hope and aspiration of them play under the carpet or maybe push under the table, they do not care. They, in fact, they, 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 they exactly a concern to them whether these people, their left are better off than years ago or their lefts are not better off than years ago. It is just the consciousness of the young people, not just the young people, but the adults in our country, in various parts of this country, that they should put their eyes together. The safe decision they are going to take, it is that safe decision that are going to determine their status in life. So to even those who are the motorcyclists or the sunshine boys, the safe decision you're going to take is going to determine how many shoes you're going to shine. Definitely, <laughs> how many shoes you're going to shine. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, definitely, I yeah, do so, I do agree 100% so, with you. So the violence in Cayman, we all need to condemn that. Yeah. It is not good for us because we listen to a lot of radio stations reporting that, and then there were calls placed to to several lawmakers in Grand Cape County, and they they have they have denied the allegations, saying some of them are saying they are they are swearing the the incident on another person mm -hmm. who is also a businessman in Grand Cape County, mm -hmm. and then that person is yet to speak. So, uh, Idrissa, I don't know Idrissa. Yeah, Benna, Idrissa or, Masale, who is always at the cent at the center of the of the many controversies in yes. Grand Cape County, you know. Yeah. Clarence Jackson did extremely well. He even tried to get him on the line to hear from his own side of the story because there were several allegations involving, you know, involving his character. So, you know. So then, one thing if this I will have to do is to come out of the public to take one of these days to speak on one of the media institutions to clarify some of these allegations that have been leveled against it. Because I think for since 2020, mm -hmm. senatorial election, there are a lot of allegations being leveled against So it. many, so many. Yeah, the burning of Senator Peter Watson vehicle mm -hmm. was also leveled against it. Yes, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Simeon Taylor. Yes, yeah, Simeon Taylor. Yeah. All these things and people level these allegations against him. So it is up to him now to take the public and then provide the necessary clarity. You, it is his it is his character that has been endangering to that. And you've been you've been listening to the show very keenly. And were you were you in any way disappointed about the police spokesman uh where he's where he asserted that the the situation that transpired two to three years ago was still being uh was still under investigations? Are you disappointed? Uh, I have been very, very, very much disappointed in the Labour National Police Spokesperson, mm -hmm. Mr. Because what we have been able to hear from Jose Kato is investigations on gold. You know, there's no more theory that the Labour National Police Union's investigations. Do, do you see that as a tactic to, to sweep something under the carpet? Oh, yes, it's possible that could be. Uh -huh. that, that could be because you cannot tell me you are conducting, you, you've been conducting investigations for more than two, three, four years. You still conducting investigations, you cannot come up with the findings. Yeah, well, because what is the essence of you conducting that investigation? There is no need for you for the investigation to continue. So Mose Kato or whosoever that is in the police, I think the strategy they are using, they have to change that strategy and then first swift in whatsoever decision they're going to take. If this person does strong, if this person is supposed to be prosecuted, let the person be prosecuted and send to court. Definitely. Oh. So uh, that's it. Yeah, uh, what would be your final parting uh parting statement uh to bring us to a closure of this segment of inside the print media? So for for me as uh as a practicing as as an emerging or uh, someone who say a practicing media practitioner and mm -hmm. also a talk show host here, yeah, my final message to the electors is do not allow the people to mislead you. Those who are coming to tell you, give me a one foot, I can do this, I can do that. Call them, say to them, ask them all of the hard questions. If I give you a foot, what are you going to do? Why are at this time we should consider giving you this decision? I think these are the kind of questions. And let the young people evolve violence. Violence has not carried this country anywhere. Violence has not developed La Bua. It has placed La Bua in a retrogressive space. 
he has brought La Pure or he has followed La Pure at the backstage. So on this note, what we look forward to in this election is peace. That is the only thing we look forward to. And whatsoever results that will come out for whosoever person that win or loss, let the person accept the result. If they disagree, let them take the court. So that is it. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Mohammed Vanikana. And I want to double up the compliments to you for your for your role uh, played. And you did a very extremely well, a very brilliant well. You hear him. He is admonishing Liberians not to be used as a conduit to execute violence. We should be aware as Liberians, we need to be aware of the crafty tactics, crafty tactics by politicians. So we should never, we shouldn't do, we should not do anything to harm the peace that we all enjoy because if we result, if we result to a chaotic Liberia, you and I will not be able to even mingle like the way we used to mingle or like the way we are mingling. You and I will not be able to, to peacefully sit and discuss issues of national concern because the entire place will be very, very chaotic. And our, our children, we, you and I will not even have the opportunity to even go to school. So on this note, this is how we bring it to of the book inside the print media. Many thanks to all of you who have been watching along with us. We will say thank you for your support. And we we are all appealing you to always hear the last so that we can tackle a lot of the audience. So again, this is how we bring this to a close on this platform.